A monster is born. Hurricane Christie reaches Category 5. Hurricane Christie is now a Category 5 storm. This is the highest level on the hurricane scale. Christie formed in the Pacific Ocean. It quickly gained strength, becoming very dangerous. Christie's winds are incredibly strong. The storm is moving towards the Baja California Peninsula. People are worried about the damage Christie could cause. Experts are closely watching Christie. They want to warn people in the storm's path. Everyone needs to be prepared for this powerful hurricane. Christie's Path Tracking a Powerful Storm In this chapter, we delve into the intricate process of monitoring and predicting the path of Hurricane Christie, a formidable storm that has captured the attention of meteorologists and the public alike. Hurricane Christie is moving slowly. This slow movement can be both a blessing and a curse. On one hand, it allows more time for preparation and evacuation. On the other hand, it can lead to prolonged periods of heavy rain and strong winds in affected areas, increasing the potential for flooding and damage. It is currently located west of the Baja California Peninsula. This region is no stranger to hurricanes, but each storm brings its own unique challenges and potential impacts. The local communities are on high alert, closely monitoring updates and advisories. The storm is expected to move north. As it progresses, it could affect a wide range of areas from coastal towns to inland regions. The northward trajectory is being watched closely by meteorologists, who are using advanced models to predict its path. Christie might change direction in the coming days. Storms are notoriously unpredictable, and even slight changes in atmospheric conditions can alter their course. This uncertainty makes it crucial for continuous monitoring and updates. This is why it is important to track storms closely. Meteorologists use a variety of tools and technologies to gather data, including satellites, radar, and computer models. This data is then analyzed to provide the most accurate forecast possible. We need to know where Christie is going. Accurate tracking helps in issuing timely warnings and advisories, which are essential for public safety. It allows authorities to make informed decisions about evacuations and other emergency measures. The National Hurricane Center is carefully watching Christie. This organization plays a pivotal role in hurricane monitoring and forecasting. Their experts work around the clock, analyzing data and providing updates to the public and emergency services. They use satellites and other tools. Satellites provide a bird's eye view of the storm, capturing images and data that are crucial for understanding its behavior. Other tools, like radar and computer models, help in predicting its path and potential impact. This helps them predict the storm's path. By combining data from various sources, Meteorologists can create detailed models that simulate the storm's movement. These models are constantly updated as new data comes in, providing the most current information available. Knowing where Christie is going helps people stay safe. Communities in the storm's path can take necessary precautions, such as boarding up windows, securing outdoor items, and stocking up on essential supplies. Public meetings and advisories help keep everyone informed and prepared. It gives them time to prepare or evacuate if needed. Evacuations are a critical component of hurricane preparedness. When a storm like Christie threatens, having a clear and timely evacuation plan can save lives. Emergency services work tirelessly to assist those in need, ensuring that everyone has the best chance to stay safe. The Fury of Christie Understanding Category 5 Winds Hurricane Christie is a Category 5 storm. This means it has extremely dangerous winds. Category 5 winds are the strongest on the hurricane scale. These winds can reach speeds of 157 miles per hour or more. That is faster than most cars can drive. Christie's winds can cause catastrophic damage. Buildings can be destroyed by winds this strong. Trees can be uprooted. Power lines can fall, causing widespread outages. It is crucial to understand the danger of these winds. From humble beginnings, the birth of a hurricane. Hurricanes are one of nature's most powerful and awe-inspiring phenomena. They begin their journey as simple disturbances in the atmosphere, often unnoticed by the human eye. But with the right conditions, these small disturbances can grow into massive swirling storms that can span hundreds of miles. Hurricane Christie started as a small tropical storm. It was just a cluster of thunderstorms over the warm waters of the Atlantic Ocean. At this stage, it was known as a tropical disturbance, a common occurrence in tropical regions. It formed over warm ocean water. The temperature of the ocean surface plays a crucial role in the development of these storms. Warm waters, typically above 26.5 degrees Celsius, provide the necessary heat and moisture to fuel the storm. 
This water acts like fuel for hurricanes. As the sun heats the ocean, water evaporates, adding moisture to the air. This moist air is the energy source that powers the storm, allowing it to grow and intensify. As the warm air rises, it creates an area of low pressure. This rising air cools and condenses, forming clouds and releasing latent heat. This heat further warms the surrounding air, causing it to rise even more. More air rushes in to fill this space. This incoming air is also warm and moist, continuing the cycle of rising and cooling. The constant inflow of air and the release of heat create a self-sustaining system. This cycle of rising air and rushing wind causes the storm to spin. The Earth's rotation, through the Coriolis effect, gives the storm its characteristic spin. In the Northern Hemisphere, hurricanes spin counterclockwise, while in the Southern Hemisphere, they spin clockwise. If the conditions are right, the storm will continue to grow. Factors such as low wind shear, high humidity, and warm ocean temperatures all contribute to the storm's intensification.